of this week's Parsha is Ekev, and it opens up with the words, V'haya Ekev tishma'un et ha mishpatim ha'ela. And Moshe is telling our people that if you listen and if you keep the mitzvot, that you will be blessed with all the blessings um, that God had promised our forefathers. And it's important to note that the Parsha opens up with this word, V'haya, and this is a continuation. So we have to see where it's continuing from. And if you look back at the last parsha in Ve'et Hanan, it has all of our major tenets of faith. Um, it has in it the Shema, the declaration of our acceptance of the one and true only God um, that exists. We have the Ten Commandments, which Moshe says there that um, God had revealed himself to us on in Sinai, at Sinai, and the reason being, Moshe says, is that we should know that Ein od Movado, another one of these major statements of our belief that there is nothing else other than God and God's will, and that Hashem Hu Ha Elohim, these are the major tenets of our faith. And Moshe is, I think, trying to tell us that if we, um, and the word Moshe uses, so if we listen, if we keep these ordinances. Now this word Akev is a little bit awkward. I mean, there everybody says he, the scripture could have said and any number of words to say if or when or because you keep. So this word Akev, we need to take a closer look. And Akev means on the heels of. So that means, yes, it is a consequence on the heels of, as a consequence of, listening to all the mitzvot, you will get this blessing. But um, it also has, I think, a, a deeper connection, meaning like um, Yaakov. Yaakov was named Yaakov because he grabbed on to the heel of Esav, right? Yeah, Akev is a heel. He grabbed onto the heel of Esav. So I think what Moshe is telling us is that if we grab onto what we have left before these moments leave us. If we grab onto the heel of that moment, if we grab onto those moments of epiphany that we've had in our lives where we've seen God in our lives and we don't let that go, um, it will be easier for us to keep the mitzvot and to follow in God's ways and to have those blessings in our lives. And I think it's very important to note um, this word, Agev, has special relevance. Um, it's mentioned two other times. First, when Avraham passed the test of the binding of Yitzchak, God said to Avraham, because, and he uses the word Agev, because you um, listened to me and you did not um, withhold your son from me, that you were willing to um, sacrifice Yitzchak for me, and you will receive all the blessings. Um, because that was a tr true test of his faith is that if he can really have faith that there is this um, omniscient, omnipotent, the one God who created everything, who understands, who knows everything, if God asks something to be able to yield to his will, um, as difficult as it may seem, then that shows real faith and a moon in God. And he passed that test. And that's the first time we see that word, Akev. Um, but we see that word also with Kalev ben Yifuna, who was one of the 12 spies, who did not partake in the sin by speaking ill on the, on the land of Israel. Um, and as we know, um, that whole generation had to die out in the desert because of this sin. And when God tells Moshe that they're going to all have to die out in the desert, he says, except for Kalev. And he uses, Hashem uses the word, Ekev Kalev, because Kalev, Hashem says, followed me with a full heart, meaning Kalev um, understood, he knew he had full faith in God, and he believed if God said the land is good, if God said we can conquer the land, if God said that it's not going to be a problem, that's what it is. And he didn't doubt it for a moment, and he wouldn't let that fear enter his heart. And that, I think, is what Moshe is trying to tell us, is that in those moments, and he says, at the end of this week's Parsha also, he says, and now Israel, what does God want from you? He says that you should, and it uses this word to have yira of Hashem, which people wrongly translate as fear, but yira is something so much more, it's to have this awe, to be touched 
Um, you know, the word yira comes from the root word ra'a, to see. Those moments of epiphany where we see God. Um, if we do that, then Moshe says, everything else will fall into place. Then we will be able to follow the mitzvot. We will love God. We will keep... Because when you have an experience like that, if you hold on to it, then naturally what you want to do is to follow in the ways of God because you have that understanding of that is everything and it makes it much easier uh, to follow in his ways and to have a good life and to be open to receiving all his blessings. So I hope we can all do that and I wish you all a Shabbat Shalom.